Hello and a warm welcome back to the TNC podcast, your go-to Norwich City podcast. Uh, Chris, it's good to be back. Well, it's nice to be That's aggressive. Thank you. I'm feeling quite aggressive after yeah. being after being relegated. Of course, the last time that we spoke, we weren't relegated. Oh, Jack. I mean, we, it's felt like we've been relegated since the second game of the season. Oh, whoa, no way. What? That's a bit harsh, isn't it? Cool, oh, you got third the, game of the season. Got me angry already. <laughs> um, I tell you what, it does feel different. What? I feel like I've got so much space. Because uh, last time we were sat here. Yeah, we had the big bass next to The big to us. bass. The big bass. And by the way, for the people that watch this, we need to talk about the podcast, by the way. What what, what are our takeaways, etc. He's and huge. What, what will make you laugh if now people, even if you've watched it, just go back to the Seba Song podcast and watch it. And you'll notice that Jack and I are right <laughs> up against the wall and big Seb Bass is here like... Yeah, he was um, ma- man-spreading. Man-spreading? I think that's what called, isn't it? Yeah. No, spreading. Spreading, yeah. Yeah, he... Man-splaining but, is where you explain something yeah. obvious. But, yeah. but a man of that stature deserves that... To be spread. Respect. Mm. So... What did he say when he first... Didn't he say something when he, when he walked in here? And he saw where we were sitting and he was like, cool... So that's a tight squeeze. Did he? Yeah. <laughs> Did he? I can't remember that. Yeah. What I will say off camera is, um, is uh, literally, we could not stop Seb talking. Oh. Like, when we stopped the camera, this might annoy people, when we stopped the camera, Seb was talking for another 40 <laughs> minutes. Like, he was just absolutely. I tell you, the only it. reason we stopped when we did is because my, my <laughs> camera battery was flashing at me, low battery, and I thought, if I, if I don't end it now, we're going to miss something. I know, people will be annoyed, but that's the truth. We were running out of battery. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Two hours, that was. And it's obviously been a been a great couple of weeks, isn't it? Cause, yeah. Um, it's Mario Vrancic. It's not all about Seb Bass. Mario Vrancic. Super Mario. Tom Tribal. Tommy T. The Bass. Yeah. Any more coming up? Yes. Ooh. Yeah. Who? Mm. I've not, I've not even put this on, on, on live. I normally, I like a bit of a tease on Twitter, just to yeah. keep, just a little so, bit of foreplay, keep them going. <laughs> oh, Come on, keep Bloody, the podcast listeners going. Blimey, O'Reilly! What? How many sips and acres have you I had? Don't know. It can be used in different senses. <laughs> oh dear, old oh, no context is going to pick that up. Um, God, you've really put me off. Um, yeah, I do like to share a little tease on Twitter, just so you people know that something good is coming, right? Because of the fact that this season has been so shy that I want people to know that at least we're trying to lift the spirits. Anyway, we've got, hopefully, two big guests coming up. Wow. Yeah, one, 90% confirmed. Okay. 100%. One, I've managed to sort of wangle through a through a second-hand connection. Hmm. I'm close, but not quite there. Okay. Um, so what needs to be done to make them happen? Think, think of it as the, the, the one that's unlikely, um, the paperwork has been submitted, but the agent needs to review it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But the player is happy with personal terms. The player's confirmed personal terms, yeah. but the agent needs to confirm it. That's the, that's, so anyway, basically... So the TNC podcast could be going to war with a bazooka, <laughs> a tank... <laughs> Anyway, yeah, there is some big guests, so stay tuned. Brilliant. Make sure you subscribe. Talk Norwich City. Norwich are relegated. Yes. But it's not yes. all negative. No, because we got a point away to Wolves. We should have been about 7-0 up. How, can I seriously, and I'm, I'm going to kick this off straight away. Go on. Do you know what has blown my mind and frustrated me even more about this Premier League season? The amount of turgid teams in this division. Yeah, Wolves were poor. Wolves have been awful against us every time they played us this season. Unbeaten Cup, against them. Home, dreadful. Mm. Brighton, dreadful. Leeds, dreadful. The- Burnley, dreadful. So the fact that we've come rock bottom, or potentially are going to be, it, that's awful because they are really average. Well, we're just we're awful every week and they're awful every other week. <laughs> mm. Yeah, fair. And um, by the way, lovely dropper Lakens. Yeah, up, up the affinity. I've actually, I haven't had an affinity for a good couple of days, so <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to have another one. Someone did actually ask me the other day, um, oh Chris, you know, recommend that. Oh, what flavour do you get? Honestly, seriously, just get the mixed case. Yeah, because you can't. Variety's get... the spice of life. Absolutely, absolutely, it is the spice of life. So anyway, also, are, another... are we, we going to start on wolves? No. Or... Right. Another on. thing that's happened since we last spoke. What? We've had a dissertation written about mm. us. 
How mad is that? Hannah Lloyd, big up. 52 pages. 52 pages of dissertation. And I think that a Amazing. lot of people might actually want this so i mean send hannah a message yeah i think i think she said she's got to submit it and then once it's all been marked so she can for, share it so for the people the that don't know you need to provide well, context here okay so on last week sometime i was um we were sent a tweet and it was like um fi- submitted my dissertation and we yeah. were tagged it up yeah like, Why are we- hannah you're right like, yeah i don't yeah. really care what your dissertation is and then i saw it was about us and then i did care um no but in all seriousness let me read you the title of the um of the dissertation i feel like people need to see it to understand like this is actually an incredible body of work yeah so the from birmingham university mm-hmm. 52 page dissertation what meanings do Norwich City fans construct from Talk Norwich City and what pleasures related to participatory culture and community did they gain from social media during the COVID-19 lockdown? 52 pages yeah, on and it's TNC it genuinely and re- It brought back so many happy memories. I think Hannah should sell it to the, to the Norwich fans. <laughs> you, can have it as me- yeah. you can have it as memorabilia. But right, it just come brought on. back so many happy memories of that yeah, season. Yeah, it did. And I think we need to do this now. Especially now do and what? until the, until next season, we all need to make a conscious effort to remind ourselves of the good times and the good things because it is so bad at the moment, mm. on and off the pitch. Timmy Pookie's brilliant. Yes. Is that where we're starting? Yes. yes. Um, the fact that he's scored as many as he has this Premier League season, considering what he's been served up, is quite something. And as I've said to you a number of times before, which you've misinterpreted... But I'm still frustrated mm. because he will be gutted. Like, for example, Wolves could have had a hat trick in the first half easily. And I'm not like I'm not slagging him off. I'm not like I I, I love Timo Puki for me, absolute Norwich City legend. But I think to myself, bloody hell, if he actually had more chances yeah. per game, he would score so many well, goals. The, the really pleasing thing about that first half in particular against Wolves, where he did have three or four very good chances. They are the kind of chances he needs. Off the yes. shoulder, yes. ball in behind. Yes. Yes. And that's what will happen in the championship. Yes. I was watching um, Luton against uh, Huddersfield, mm. the playoff semi-final, mm. Daniel Sonani scoring. God, it was bad. God, yes. it was bad. It and I thought bad. if that's the playoff standard. Anyway, let's have a quick look at Team Pukki's stats. Yes, let's do that. 166 appearances. Yeah. 78 goals. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, and Go that's 22 in the Premier League. Holty also scored 78 goals for Norwich City. Took him two games more. Well, it's in, it's in, I'm going to throw I'm going to throw Holty under the bus here. He'll absolutely, he'll absolutely hate this. So Holty messaged me saying, "Just so you know, before Jack brings it up this week on the podcast, make sure he knows that it took Timmy Puki a thousand more minutes." Oh, did it? So there you go. Grant, but, Grant Holt is... Uh, he's happy. Of course he's happy. But, but, but he's but, making but, but, it clear. But it, Grant, he's making clear. Timu wasn't scoring goals in League One. Or, no, 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 no. I thought, oh, oh, yeah. I mean... Yeah, that's a good Holt, point. Holt, he scored 24 in League One. Yeah, but to be fair, mate, the team... Oh, yeah. I mean, Puki scoring goals against, you know, Manchester City. Holt, yeah. scoring goals against Gillingham. <sighs> Halty shots fine. <laughs> no, on a serious note, it's remarkable on a, though. Because... On a serious note, let's bring this debate up, and I want to hear from the people in the comment section on YouTube and all across social media. We've put out a post about this this week as well. If you had to pick one, just one, Timu Puki or Grant Holt, take off your, your recency bias glasses with Timu Puki if you can, and pick just one. It's so hard. Mm. It's almost impossible to split the two. Because I'm a passion merchant, so I lean on to Holty's side. Yeah. Well, I, I really think do. The... But Pookie, in terms of... But then Holty made some cracking runs as well. Well, like... I think I think for our generation, probably like 21 to 30, you've got... If you're at the upper end of that, you've got like you and Roberts and stuff. Mm. But for me, it, I was just prime Grant Holt era. Yeah. And now the generation below us... Well, not generation, but yeah. kids still in school or whatever, they're all Pookie. They'll be going, Grant Holt, who's he? Yeah, and that's mad, the it, that's yeah. the amazing thing because we regard Holty in such high regard, yeah. rightly so. Pookie's at that level, if not higher. So to finish the point, let us know down below in the comment section on social media: Grant Holt or Timu Pookie? Who are you picking in your all 
Uh, to be fair... Can we have both? You'd have both, wouldn't you? You'd play two up, wouldn't you? 100%. Leaving out Ewan Roberts, Chris Sutton, Chris Martin. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> no, but was... anyway, so Timu Puki, th- to conclude, again, another season where he's been written off. Again, By you. An- by no one else I... but you. F- fuck off. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> um, look, Phenomenal. You, you, we've got to keep Team Mipuki. Get the contract out, yeah? Put the contract on the table and let him write whatever he wants and say, there you go, Sonny Jim. Yeah. It's yours. Mm. Have it. Well, twenty. I think, yeah, 78 goals. So he's basically scoring one every two. Feed the goat and he'll score. If you keep Team Mipuki, you've guaranteed playoffs. Oh, yeah. You've guaranteed it. Yeah. And quite frankly, the state that we're in, and the squad t- turnover that, mm. that we're going to need, we need to keep Timmy mm. Puki at this football club. 23 Premier League goals in two seasons, yeah. and a side that will most likely finish bottom on both occasions. Mm-hmm. That's a remarkable... If, if yeah. you're signing a 15, 20 million pound player, and they're scoring 10 a season, you're probably happy yeah, with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Puki's doing that in a side yeah. that scored about 20 goals. Well, I think we've touched upon this before, Jack. I think in the last podcast we spoke about this, I actually almost think we're lucky that Timu is who he is as a person mm. because I don't see him as the greedy type that's going to force a move. I don't see him as the type that would want to unsettle his family and I think that will play into Norwich's favour massively and Norwich should count their lucky stars that we've not got a striker that's that's going to force a big money move. Mm. Like, I'm pretty sure whatever the agreement is with Norwich City, Timu Puki is going to be happy with it because he's Timu Puki. Mm. And I think that's that is actually sometimes how he gets criticised. Sometimes, isn't it? People talk about having a leader at the top of the pitch as well as the bottom of the pitch with a Timmy Crawl or another goalkeeper, right? But f- for me, that's 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 great. So yeah, Timmy Puki got to keep him, hundred percent. You know, on like when you've got your family round for Christmas dinner, and there's yeah. always a moment in the day when things feel like they're going wrong, right. and, and carnage is happening around mm. you, chaos is is taking mm. over. Timu's the uncle who just calms everyone down. Goes, look. It's fine. It's Christmas. Yeah. It's Christmas. Have some have some pe- salted peanuts. Yeah. Some salted peanuts. Oh, just to liven you up a little bit. Salted peanuts. Want a beer? <laughs> yeah. What? No. Lakens. Have a Lakens. Come and on. Just settle down. Come Timu on. is the man that just calms us all down. I was actually for the first time in a long while. I enjoyed watching us at the weekend. I can't remember the last time I said that. Probably when oh, we beat can, Burnley. Can I just wake you up a minute? Mm. What did you not enjoy it? Mate, we drew yeah. one one. I know. We scored so, look, a goal. How far My standards your, are this How low? far yes. have your standards slipped? They are through the floor. Your standards oh, yeah, they're gone. are down the shite pipe. Yes. yes, they are. Your standards are down the yeah, shite they are. pipe. Yeah, they are. You you're back you're you're, you're like in love with a one one draw. Yeah, I am. Oh fuck off. Yeah, away from home. Take the point. Well yeah, when of you're course home take games. the point, but we're already down. I want to win. Yeah, but I need to enjoy something. No, I agree. I do agree. As much as I'm annoyed that your standards have slipped, I agree that it was actually nice that we got something mm. from the game. And you know something else that is nice? Go I was right about something. Again. Go on. Tony Spriggett. Yeah. What a player. Do you, do you what, know a what? Player. No. what a player. Yeah, look. Do you know what? You've got massively lucky there <laughs> because the only reason why you said you rated him was that he had a, he had a funny second name. And right? I, well, I was calling him Toby for a long while. <laughs> Toby Spriggett, didn't you call him or something, right? For a long while. And um, then I found out the other week his name's Tony. Anyway, so... Who calls their like, son born in the 2000s Tony? Look, I don't care. If he keeps playing how he's playing, I wouldn't care if he was called... I'm not going to finish that sentence. I, look, to- Tony Springett, a player for the future. Mm. Definitely. 2014-15 under-18s. Um, so just to be clear, that wasn't he's what that wasn't in the um, Stuart Weber era. Hang on, you've lost me there. He was what? He, uh, just long story. Don't worry. Basically, Tony Tony Spring, a player <laughs> for the future. One I'm excited about. One you're right about. But but let me ch- but let me ch- but let me challenge you. But let me challenge you on this. Right? Why are you saying that you love? You like you. I keep wanting to say Toby now. <laughs> Why are you in love with Toby Spriggett? Because everyone but else I'm is not shit. allowed to be in love with Johnny Rowe. Because Spriggett's better than Rowe. But Johnny Rowe, let's have a go. Yeah, well, I do like that saying. I like Jonathan Rowe. 
But the reason I like I think, it, I think they'll both get on loan next season. Yeah, both probably. The only reason we both really like these two at the moment is because they run. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I hope we look back on this podcast in like three years and we're like, well, that was a dark place. Mm. And I hope we're in a better place. We're in a, no, good, but, I'm in a good place. No, right but now. seriously, I, I, I am impressed. Do you know one thing that I, I would criticise Dean Smith on is. Um, is the, the the team selection because I would have liked to have seen the young lads being given more game time and starting football matches now. Mm. Zero point in starting other players. Mm. Zero point now. Start the youngsters 100%. 100%. And they want it. And they're going to be out there to make a point. So, But look, there's obviously commercial gain in starting Billy Gilmore, for example, and things like that. So unfortunately, that's the way it has to be. I'll tell you what I am worried about. Where do you begin? How long's your list? A certain individual I'm worried about. Mm. Where are you going here? Greece. Mm. Worried. Mm. Worried. Well, I wasn't going to share this information, but I've now that people are starting to talk about Zolis, I um. Well, basically, I've messaged uh hang on i need to be really careful here i was talking to um Chris, someone christos himself i was talking to someone and um and i believe that there has been possibly hang on okay. let me say this stop like sitting a, on the fence let me say this like a journo let me say this like a journo i understand mm. that he possibly refused to play an under 23 game right I understand that. However, I think, and I'm not a journalist, as I've said on my video on Twitter recently, I th apparently you're meant to check with multiple sources. So that's only come from one of my trusted sources. Okay. But I do trust him because he's told me other things that well, are right. Well, what we can is that figure out is it, that it, something's it, gone wrong somewhere. Well, yeah, signing him in the first it, place. Well, no, that's harsh. No, it's not. Why? He, we, he might be a very good no? player. What do you mean, why? Well, we haven't seen Fuck him play it. football. Fuck. We haven't seen him do, play do football, you know, do, you, do you know what? Whose I... side are you on? Well, look, you know me and what I was like this season. The Zolis lottery, for example. I was all over Christos Zolis. Like, literally, I loved his name. I loved the marketing. I've been sold an absolute dream mm. of Christos Zolis. And I was his biggest fan, genuinely, and I wanted him to play well. I was pissed off that Daniel Farker treated him how he treated him after the Bournemouth game. I was. I was annoyed at that. But do you know what? I'll hold my hands up and I'll take responsibility and accountability, unlike most of the top brass in our City Football Club right now. And I'll say, I'm sorry, Daniel Farker. I got it wrong regarding Christos Solis because Dean Smith clearly doesn't rate him either. But we haven't seen him. Dean Smith might be wrong as well. <sighs> What's the likelihood of that? Well, who don't forget what's, what's, two managers for the price of one. You're, are you disagreeing with Shaky? Because Shaky would have had a say in that as well. Okay, so what? So if if both managers agree that he's not great, well, yeah. one one Daniel Farker had say in signing, so he's not getting out of this scot free. Yeah, and why have we spent ten million quid on a player that isn't apparently going to be good enough for the championship? I, because there's mate, talk I, of him it, going out on loan. I, I don't know. I don't. Know. I wish I had the answers to that, but I don't. Why did we pay nine million for Josh Sargent when we could have got him to start the window for six? And that would have still been too much. I mean, and I'm only at question one of seventy-five, <laughs> but unfortunately, we've only got an hour of this podcast. Basically, Christos Solis, we wanted it to work. It ain't gonna work. Really? I just, I, I, I don't know. But wow, I was so hopeful a few weeks ago. I hope I'm wrong because I genuinely, I, I look at. This is even. I'm actually now questioning myself. I'm actually laughing at myself. I, I was about to say, I looked at what he did in Greece. But then you remember, it's fucking Greece. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit, isn't it? <laughs> it is, it's shit. It's like, oh no. This is what annoys me about people with like managers and stuff, right? Where they go, oh yeah, he absolutely tore up the Norwegian XYZ, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh yeah, no bloody wonder. <laughs> My granddad could have torn it up and he and he died 10 years ago. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, it's such a it's honestly, I hate that yeah, it's, such we were hipster, saying that it's such a hipster shout. We honestly. were saying that a year ago. I know I was, but I'm admitting I'm wrong and it hurts, but it's the truth. Hmm. I want I want it to work, but it's not working. 
And you don't think it will for work? two very qualified people, at least, to say he's not good enough for even the subs bench. <sighs> this is what kind of frustrates me slightly. I do get that we need a change of ownership model to progress, but we pissed so much money up the wall. Yeah, 60 we did. million quid. Yeah, we did. Um, Kabak. <laughs> even oh, Norman. By the way. Four million quid we spent on absolute, that loan fee. Absolute shocker. Sergeant. Jollis, even Rashica to an extent, hasn't done loads this season. I don't think there was one good signing in the summer. Do you summer. know what? We've met, we, I think we might have spoken about this. Even Milo Rashica, right? And I, and again, I'm slagging off myself here. Okay, good. I'm like, oh yeah, Milo Rashica, best thing since sliced bread, blah, blah, blah. Who ya ya, right? Well, he's, he's set up two and he scored one. Yeah. He scored against Charlton. All season. <laughs> All season. Yeah, he's poor. And it also shows the level at which Team Ipuki's operating at. Mate, it, honestly, it, I'm absolutely flabbergasted. The worst transfer window in the club's history. <laughs> no, it is though, isn't it? Because we look yeah, I'm back... Just, do you know what though? I'm laughing. At... I'm laughing though. I'm laughing because you've said that. But the title that you picked... By the way, can I just confirm? Jack always picks the YouTube titles. Yeah. There you go. And your title for your video was... Best transfer <laughs> ever. You're such an emotional fan. I love it. Anyway, um, worst transfer well, we ever. Look back you can't at argue Ricky with it, Van Wolfswinkel and Stephen Naismith. Stephen yeah. Naismith looks like Pele compared to Jollist, doesn't he? <laughs> the best defensive attacking midfielder this football to club's be, ever had. To be fair to Naisy, he banged one. He banged two in against Liverpool, yeah. didn't he? Scored a few in on the his debut. He did nothing else, did he? Good player. Wow. Oh. Got a whopping great big bonus when we won the title, by, by the way. Do you remember that? I what you were Do people say, know then. this? Oh, you had a what? A, what? What did you think I was going to say? <laughs> <laughs> you had a whopping great big what? <laughs> no, he got um, he got a million quid. Did he? Apparently so. Fair play. He got a million quid for not even playing a game of football. Well, you I'm not sure if that's common knowledge, but it is now. But I remember Snoddy saying that he did very well out of his promotion. Sorry, our promotion. But you're not turning down money, are you? Well, of course you're not. You're saying, ha ha, which is what the agents did to us this season. Yeah. Over Stuart Webber's, Webber, Webber and his and his um, scouts recruitment. Angus Gunn on Tim Krull. <sighs> Bloody hell. Another huge debate. For next that's, season. That's, that's kicking off right now. Do you know what, Jack? I'm going to let you lead this because, because people know, and I will fully admit, that I am biased here. Mm. and I really, But I struggle with this debate a lot because... As much as, as much as Angus is my bud and we went to school together and obviously everyone knows about the Nandos, the, 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 the clean sheet Nandos, etc. By the way, I'm still in so much debt over the clean sheet Nandos over that one championship mm. season on loan. And you've paid um, once. Which, by the way, had a blinder, I think, if I remember right. Anyway, um, considering circumstances. Um, I'm struggling with this because I see Tim Krull as a North City legend. People might disagree with me on that, but I do. He's won two titles, talismatic, leader, on and off the pitch, fantastic. No one has a bad Norris word to say about the room. I think he is. Wow. He's won two titles. Mm -hmm. And just what he does off the pitch and how he treats people and his interaction with the fans. And for me, I, I think he is. Anyway, maybe you know, feel free to, to, to disagree with me on that. So I struggle with this massively because I'm really conflicted. Mm. Timmy Crawl is my number one. I think that the criticism that the, the the criticism that he's had in the last two weeks has been really tough. Yes, he's made mistakes, but all players go through a bad patch at some stage, and he will know himself that he's going through a tough a tough patch at the moment. So, yes, I agree with Dino's decision to bring Ag in. Um, but I just don't know about... I just don't know. Like, I, lo I love them both. Is what I'm genuinely sitting on the fence for once. Well, I think the nice thing of, of this debate is it's a d debate over two very good goalkeepers. Mm. And, and we're not gifted with depth in, in other areas of the pitch. That's for true. me, I think it's Angus next season as number one. Okay, I'm right. looking at this from a, for a long-term perspective. If I'm Angus and I've gone from starting for Stoke two seasons ago in the Championship... To then signing for what was fairly big money for us. What was it, like five million quid or something? To then sitting on the bench in the championship, taking a step back 
and I'm two years down my career in what is probably the peak of his kind of career. Not on, a, not on a goalie's career. Goalie's going on. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's at an age now where you'll want to be starting football okay. matches. Do you think Tim Crew will stay? Because this is a whole yeah. other part of it. Yeah, I do. People think he's going to leave. No, I think he'll stay. I think even if he's number two, he'll stay. I think he's settled here. I don't... I think if he was to go, it would be a, sitting on the bench at a Premier League club. Maybe that might be a, an appeal if the money's right. I think he'd be happy to stay. I think Angus is probably on his day a better goalkeeper than Tim. Really? Although I really Big like shout. Him. Yeah, I think it's huge tough. shout. I think it's incredibly tight. I think Tim probably brings slightly more from a leadership perspective, mm. although that hasn't really worked this season because we've shipped goals for fun. Um, but I'm looking at this for, for a mm. two, three, four year plan. And if we leave mm. Angus as number two, mm. I think he'll go, lads, I'm off. Well, I, I don't think that because... Do you Ang- think you'd be happy as because, number two? No, I don't. But what I'd say is Angus is... Angus's dream is to be number one for Norwich City Football Club. He came here and he said that on this podcast that he wanted to come back one day, right? But or at surely least they get to a stage anyway. where if he's, if he's not in next Yeah, but season. mate, it's still early days considering his age, right? And he's a goalkeeper. Hmm. I, I am genuinely really conflicted on this. What people do criticise Angus for is commanding his area. I don't really... I'm not really knowledgeable in terms of, like, goalkeepers, right? Maybe we should speak to a, a goalkeeper about this. But that's one thing that he gets criticised over. But for me, I'm almost... And I've seen a few people comment on this. A goalkeeper is only really as good as what he's got in front of him. Mm. And this season, it wouldn't have mattered if you put bloody Carlo Nash in between the sticks. We would have we would have been shipping goals for fun. So... I think Angus has been really good in what, the games he's played. I This is what I would say... When backs have been against the wall this season, there was there's one that people bring up, which is um, Liverpool away. But for fuck's sake, it's Liverpool away. Yeah. I know I'm biased, but it's Liverpool and Tim's away. And made some big mistakes this season as well. Basically, I'm conflicted. Let us know in the comment section and on social media, where do your, your loyalties lie? Who gets the number one shirt for you next season? Is it Angus Gunn? Or is it Tim Krull? But we know the whole reason why Angus was brought in was to eventually take the shirt off yeah. off Timmy. I, I do think that this argument and this debate is happening too soon. I think I I, I do think that we're a good season off it happening. In really? my, that's that's what my gut tells me. As much as I would love Angus to be number one, I'd love it. I I just think Tim Krull has. Do you know what really stuck out for me recently on the Tom Tribal podcast is. And I think of whatever you think about O'Neill and his stats and whatever. But Tom Tribal said something that really really stood out for me, which was O'Neill Hernandez has won two championship titles. Mm. You cannot take that away from him. He has tasted titles. Mm. Okay. Now, mm. for me, I look at Tim Crew and I think, well, yeah, it is going to be very hard for any player to mentally go down and up again. Mm. But he's tasted titles. Timmy Krull, he's a winner. Mm. He is a winner. And his experience is what... I mean, arguably, if we had more Premier League experience this season, we would have stayed up. Because yet again, we weren't streetwise. And we were naive. And we were weak and tepid. We bent over backwards over over, more or less every game. Mm. And I actually think if we had players that had the same sort of personality as Timmy Krull, I think we would have been a lot better off this season. So basically what I'm saying is I'm a big fan of Tim Krull, but I'm biased towards Angus. So I'll let you guys decide. Right, let's take a dip into the world of Twitter, shall we? Yes, please. Should we dip our toe in or dive in the deep end? Let's, let's dive right in. Yeah, just so we like it. Brian. Brian. Brian's name. in touch. Hey, second name? Sergan. Ooh, Brian Sergan. Early no Twitter for... bio. Wow. Um, Mis- mysterious. Brian, big question. Broad question. Who big, do you think will Brian. leave? <laughs> Who do you think will leave in the summer? Oh, wow. Um, big question. Quite a long answer. Well, well, I mean, where do you begin? Cause... Stuart Weber will be leaving for Everest boot camp. Oh, Christ. Base camp. Do you know what I'm seriously wondering? And this is a genuine question. And would I say it to Stuart's face? Probably not, because I'm a bit scared of him. <laughs> but my my genuine concern is, if someone is 90% in, mm. right, and 10% out, 
and we've got less time to prepare for next season than ever before because of the World Cup yeah. in Qatar we've got less time I think it's two weeks less mm. and in the last well certainly in the last window all of our business was done late on mm. really late on so I'm sort of thinking to myself well if you're only 90% in then you need to get a move on Sonny Jim and I and I I'm worried I'm worried about the amount of churn that this squad probably needs to go through or, or could it be beneficial that Stuart's not overseeing it because he's screwed it up the last few times <sighs> Anyway. I don't know. But anyway, go back to the question. Brian. Who's leaving? So I'm going to start with the positive. I, mean, I don't know. How you, How do you say that? We don't I'm know. I'm starting with the positive. Now, Paddy Davitt tweeted today. Yes, I saw that. That yeah. Dimi he desperately wants in for next season. Do you know what? Again. Oh, that gets me going. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Love Dimi. Re- honestly think he's one of our best players. Okay. And let's just rewind and cast our minds back to maybe six or seven pods ago. I was sitting here absolutely shitting myself that we would lose Dimmy. Mm. It is an absolute... If it's true and he stays, that is a blessing because he will have the championship on toast. Yeah. On toast. And this isn't a throwaway Lakens comment. This is a serious comment. And after the way that Dimmy has been pushed aside for a lone player this season, I am surprised. Mm. I am surprised. Yeah. You know, Jose Mourinho at, at Roma knocks on the door and says, Dimmy, sack off your contract at Norwich and come and join us. Mm. Norwich and him say no, right? And I'm thinking, if I'm Dimmy, I'm thinking, bloody hell, I could have been playing for Jose Mourinho. Now, you know what? Fair play mm. to Dimmy. If he stays and he works, which he will, um, and, and, and plays week in, week out in the championship, fair play. And kudos to him, and I will love him even more. He's yeah. a quality player. You know, a player I always forget played for Norwich, but was actually quite a big part. Right, Javi Quintia. I always forget about him. Quite a big part. Well, he towards the end of that promotion oh, season, he played right. quite a lot. But he's all right. I think he was quite good. I'm I just always forget about. about him. Really worried about your standards. Why? He was, he was okay. No, he was all right. I mean, it's nothing to bring up on a podcast. No, but I mean, he was he was better than forgettable. And I always forget about him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, great. Right, who's going to go? Dimmy's staying. Um, We've who, literally answered the opposite. Well, of why don't we? Question. Why don't we tweak the question a little bit and say who, who do we could want to go? go? Oh, that's quite fiery. Yeah, let's do that. You're going to go. Who do we want to go? Yeah. Right. So, any goalkeepers that you want to move on? No, keep them all. Keep all the goalkeepers. Yeah. yeah? 100%. Mm. I agree. Fine. Max? No. Mm. Really? We want a little controversial on the Seriously? Mm. Hang on. You can't say you want him to go. No, but... Okay. This is why I was going to say, why don't we change it to who do we think could go? Okay, fine. Right. Max is off. Max, I, I'm surprised that we've kept Max for as long as we have. He's gone even though he would have dropped in value because of how bad we've been collectively this season. And he hasn't been great. But none of them have. So I think Max could go. Sam Byram. Love Sam I mean, Byram. I mean, Dean Smith is talking about him as if he's blooming Jesus Christ. So yeah. he's, he's... I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if he had the captain's armband next season. Well, I think Dean things. Smith said he was captain material, and I'd agree. I like Sam Byron, but he's respected in the dressing room. I like him as well. As long as he stays fit, here's one. he's a good player. Here's one. Hotly debated in the last couple of weeks. Ben Gibson, talk to me. Quality championship defender. Ben Gibson is at his best in aerial battles. But let's be brave. And the championship is a load of average footballers lumping it long. And Ben Gibson will stick <laughs> yeah. his skull on the end of it. Nine times out of yeah. ten. Ben Gibson yeah. will dominate the championship. Well, I agree, but people will be watching this and listening to this saying, oh, you're biased because you had him on the podcast, blah, blah, blah. So try and... No, in the championship, be really... in the championship, he's very good. Yeah. He's average at best in the Premier League. That's really harsh. No, I don't think it is. Because you've been saying Tim Cruz not had anyone in front of considering him. Considering well, Ben Gibson's been in front of him. What are his stats with bottom of the table? That's all I care about, Chris. We've shipped the most goals in the Premier League. Okay. If you want to talk about stats, I want to talk about the amount of goals I'm, that this defence has conceded. Ter- I'm terrible, I am. I'm so biased. 
He's such a good bloke. Yeah, he's a great bloke, and he's fucking good in the championship. He will absolutely dominate the championship. Right, Grant Hanley. Keep him. One of our best players this season. I don't know why I'm saying that but as again, a defender but... responsible for shipping goals for fun. But I think he's Here's a... one, Christoph Silverman. Sack him off. That is pretty disrespectful. I mean, he hasn't played for ages. Sack him off. Yeah, he's a liability. One facts thing don't that, care about feelings. One thing we facts can, don't care about feelings. One thing we can agree on is he is now plagued with injuries. And yeah. it's sad, but it's probably time. Mm. Well, those anchor backs not going to be here, thank God. Jesus Christ. Um, Brandon Williams, yeah, gone. not here. I mean, by the way, can I just quickly, can I quickly talk about this, right? Easy up. I've got, I want to talk about this. <laughs> I'm so confused. Because I think people have taken the club's PR and they've eaten it up for breakfast. Oh, really? It is not acceptable mm. for anyone to follow a footballer mm. home, 100%. It's Although not I was accept- interested by, by what Dan Huckabee said. What did he say? On Michael Bailey's podcast. What did he say? He said, it happened to me over 50 times and it's part of being a footballer. You've just got to suck it up. Do you know what, mate? It's really interesting that you should bring that up, right? Because Hux loves that, it, doesn't he? Well... Oh, he loves it. He is, he is a straight shooter, isn't he? Yeah. But funnily enough, I was talking to Darren Eady about this uh, last week, and he said a similar thing. He was like, well, you know, they should just get on with it. You know, it's being a footballer. Mm. And isn't it that interesting that that generation of footballers are like that? Anyway, right, my point about Brandon Williams is, right, it is so unacceptable for anyone to follow him home. It's so unacceptable for anyone to go up to a footballer's face yeah. and, and abuse them. Yeah. Like, it's so wrong. 100%, right? But, <laughs> but, no, I don't care. What are you doing? What, on Instagram? What are you doing? Well, I, Sticking your middle finger up? I just tagging, didn't understand it. Tagging Norwich. Yeah, but it's just stupid. It is stu- I don't care. I don't care if I fall out with, with people over this. Well, yeah. What are you doing sticking your middle finger up on social media? It was something like a 14 After a loss. After a loss. So, yes. So wrong what happened. And I'm really sorry. And I thought that his tweet was good. The way that he summarised it. But for Norris City to back that. And then not recognise that what he did was wrong. Mm. You cannot do that. Mm. What are you doing sticking your middle finger up on social media? After a loss. Another heavy loss. Anyway. Ran over. Oh, here we go. Dimi Giannoulis. Yes, Kid. please. Yep. Big Andy. Yeah. Yes, please. And I'll put, I'll put this out there. Starting. I want him starting. Over who? I want him in week in, week out. Over Hanley or Gibson? Hanley. Really? Yeah. Wow. I, I, wow. I, I personally think Big Andy and Gibbo. Really? People will hate me for this. But okay. Okay. I think it's a combo made in heaven. Lucas Roop, cheerio. Sack off. Can't wait. Yeah. Liability. And people say he's good in the championship. We barely, no, he wasn't. We didn't play. No, he wasn't good in the championship. He wasn't good in the championship, Chris. <laughs> he wasn't. Oh, I do want to be careful here. No, I don't. <laughs> I want why would, to be why, careful here. Why would we be backing up players who've once again failed us this season? God, he's... He's just so no, average. Go. <laughs> He's so average. Next. Billy Gilmore. Sack him off. <laughs> Daldinio. Talk to me. Like him. <laughs> bit, wasn't, bit, of spi- bit of sprinkle yeah, in the championship. Wasn't, wasn't fully convinced when we first signed him. What is but this? I've it, seen enough. Seriously, what has Dino had for breakfast to be <laughs> to be playing Daldinio up top? When I saw that, I thought, wow. I mean, I think Dino had had a heavy night on the on the old Lakers to to make that call. Yeah, weird. That's the sort of thing that you and I would do after yeah. the Lakers. Yeah, I'll stick him up top. Stick him up top. He probably had him anyway, captained on bet, mate. Dowell Dino, yes. By the way, bet, mate. Decent. Quality. Beating you every get single Get involved. Week. If you've not watched our previews, get involved in bet, mate. How mm. do people do that, Jack? Watch the previews. Click the link in the previews. Mm-hmm. Get involved. And if you beat me, you'll beat Chris. Chance to win money. Why wouldn't you? Um, Daldinio, yes, please. PP. Gone. Useless. But he will stay. No, he, I hope he doesn't. Who in the right mind would buy him? Useless. <laughs> Mate, that's really hard. It's not, Chris. God, Stop feel... being nice. <laughs> oh, he God. is useless. Did you see that video? <laughs> Did you see that video of um, 
of that touch. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Sums up, doesn't it? Good. And God. that was one of his better ones. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I've got questions on? <laughs> How the bloody hell is he in the Poland team? Well, wow. clearly Poland standards are the same as yours. Well, to, <laughs> to be fair, when we signed him, and that was there was that clip, wasn't there, of him just <laughs> running without the ball, and we were all like, "Can wow, I just say we've got a player?" I said this in the last podcast, and I'm saying it again. Please, can everyone hold me accountable? I am never, I am never, ever, I'm pledging now. I am never, ever, ever getting excited about a Norwich signing ever again. Oh, that's nonsense. No, I'm not. We'll sign some no, League not. 2 18-year-old and you'll be saying he's the next big thing. Go I, on. I really don't want to. Anyway, PP, dreadful. Matthias Norman, gone. injury prone, gone. Milo Rashica, talk to me. Yeah, I'd keep him. I, th- I think there is a good player in there. I think Milo. he, I will put out there, if we keep him, he will absolutely destroy the championship. Yeah, I think he would. I, th- I like Rashid. So. I think keep Milo and you're looking at 100 points, 100 goals. <laughs> <For fuck's sake. laughs> By the way, yeah, okay. Um, Christos Solis. See, I'd... <laughs> Sell. I'd keep him Sell. solely through the fact that it feels very wasteful. Sell. And I, I haven't seen enough of him. Cut your losses. Sell. Who's buying him? I don't know. Colchester, a couple of hundred quid in the Mars bar. <laughs> I, I think you're. I think you are being harsh. Though. No, we right, haven't seen him. I'm being harsh. You're. Being... Oh, here we go. PLA's Malou. He is going to absolutely batter the championship. Do you know what I've said this season about PLM being my player of the season? Yeah. Is it too early to put it out there for next season? No, yes. Oh, fine. But PLM, he, is, he is an early uh... contender. One of those that will... P- PLM's the new Marco Stiefman he is. And he will absolutely mm. destroy the championship. A few PLM pile I'm, drivers. I know this is going to come back to haunt you. Against really average teams. <laughs> like PLM absolutely pile driving one in against, I don't know, fucking Rotherham or something. <laughs> Do you hey, is he? Paul Warns. Yeah, sure. Um, sure. Warniola. Anyway, Kenny McLean. We're keeping PLM. That's a given. Uh, Kenny McLean. It? Kenny McLean. PLM's one of those that will be sold in the first right. week of the transfer window. I won't even realise. This is a big one. Kenny McLean. Because people will want him gone. People really are like Marmite over Kenny. I like him. I think he's yeah. an engine room. And I think in the championship, he is the type of player in the championship that will keep your team ticking. I think you keep him for the bench. I think he's a good person to have around. I think if you if you get rid of too many people, there are issues. I think you keep I don't think he starts every week. Do you think this I gonna... think he's good on a Tuesday night to come on against Burton? Jonathan Rowe. Uh, Low? Keep? Because do you know what I want? You know old Johnny Rowe? Do you know what I'm thinking? Start Milo, mm-hmm. yeah, if he stays. Which, by the way, I think he'll, Unlikely. I think he'll probably yeah. want, a, want away, won't he? I think he'll want away. Yeah. I would love Johnny Rowe to come on for Milo in the championship around the 60th minute and just, just absolutely take teams to the carpet cleaners. Johnny Rowe. Have a go. Let's have a go. Yeah, let's keep him. Oh, so now you rate him, do you? Yeah, let's keep him. Pookie, keep. Yeah. No debate. Josh Sargent. Oh, I'll get rid. I'll drive him. <laughs> Mate, you're only I'm half just, a Lakers in. I'm not having that he'll rip up the championship. I'm not having it. So, right. What do, what do you think, watching and listening to this, will Josh Sargent tear up the championship? I don't think he will. I think... I think I hope so I'm wrong, because that night against Watford was one of the greatest nights of my life. <laughs> God, it was fun. But that's all he's done. I think it reeks of Strabelli, doesn't it? It absolutely... It's not as good as him. Hum, stinks, whiffs... But, well, no, not statistically the, the, not. The, the, statistically the optimist, not. The optimist amongst us would say, well, he did it against Bournemouth in the Cup. Oh. Bournemouth were a championship outfit at the time. So but maybe Bournemouth did play their second string team. yes. I don't know. I, you know what? I actually hope it does work. I think there's. I think, he's a, lovable, put, let I think me, he's a lovable character. Let me put... Let me put a positive in here on Joshy Sargent. One of his strengths is his strength. It's not. He's strong. He's not. I want him to be strong. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to be strong. He's not strong. He's not quick. He he's good shit at, in the air. He's not. No, that's that. That's harsh. He's not. No, you're wrong. I think Sargent has got the physicality. He's got the physicality for the championship. Okay. Okay. That is that is what he has got. Okay. 
Adam Eda. Well, can't again, wait. He's better than Sargent. Well, of course he is. Adam Eda, keep. quality, hundred yeah. percent. Keep. Todd Cantwell. Hmm. Well, I don't think we're going to have a choice on Toddy, are we? Well, I think he'll stay. I, I don't think what, Bournemouth that, want him. Tell you what, that's going to get really toxic. Yeah, it fans, could get tasty. It? Could get really tasty. Do you know what I? I actually hope Todd gets a move because I mm. don't want to see Todd abused in the way. Yeah. He, like I just think, I think it's just got to the point now where fans are just like picking on him. Like it is what yeah, it is. Yeah, and I think. Yeah. I just think for He's Todd's probably sake, burnt some bridges I want well. to. Yeah, I'm not saying Todd's a good, great, cha- good championship player, but then people be going, "Well, Jack, you're a, you're a moron because Bournemouth haven't started well, him since he's been there." And they're, and they're right. So, and to give you a quote, facts don't care about feelings. Yeah. I think I really like Todd. Mm. I do, and I think, and I'll always be respectful for what he did for us mm. in terms of that title win, in terms of um, the the goals and assists in the Premier League in his first season when he was written off. Fair fucks to him. But I do think it's time for him to okay. to get a new Well, that was very club. mature of you. Bally Mumba. Yes, Keep. please. Yeah, like him. Yes, please. Okay, but let me challenge you on this one. Okay. Not played that match for Peterborough. Talk to me. No, no, he hasn't. And how what did it got... end for Peterborough? They went down. If he would have started, they would have stayed up. Do you know what? I love that from yeah. you. I absolutely love that from you. Cheers. It's about time you came out with some sense. Joshy Martin. Here's a name. Get rid. Get rid. Got better. That's harsh. No. Sinani. Oh. Danel Sinani. Yeah, now Danel this Sinani. Will... Welcome. Danel Sinani. I mean, for literally me, watched 20 minutes of him this season. For me, he is the salt. Mm. He is the salt to the bay, isn't he? Yeah, there's chilli salt as well. But the thing is, with Sinani, right, I know people are saying... Great name. You've, you've lost the plot, but... Facts don't care about Felix. You're basing this off of one championship game, aren't you? No. He's done well in the championship yeah, this has. season. Yeah, he has. Dan Alcinani has done very well in the championship this season. My Norwich City bias would say he single-handedly <laughs> got Huddersfield to the playoff final. Yeah. So, yeah, Dan Alcinani. Yeah, well, I didn't expect to be praising Dan Alcinani. I mean, I never thought I'd say his name ever again, to be I, honest. I but. think Dan El- If I saw Dan Alcinani... Up top. In Chapelfield, yeah, I wouldn't recognise him. Oh, I would. <laughs> I'd walk straight I would. past him. I'd walk to the other side, scared. Really? Yeah. He's the type of grit that you mm. want. He's the type of player where in the tunnel he'd like go like this. Mm. He'd like grunt at you. Mm. He wouldn't talk in the tunnel. No hugs. No nothing. Mm. Okay. I so want that. that. Yeah, that's a bit of spice. Jordan Hugo. Keep. Do you know what? Scores I, goals. I was. I. I think we're going to get battered for this, but I agree. Mm. And it's because I've heard that Dean Smith likes to play with wingers that get crosses into boxes. Well, stick it on his head and he'll score. Well, Jordan Hugo. Good character as well, Chris. Very good. That's what we need. And that is what was pushed and ironed out of our football club under Daniel Farker. Mm. So I'm actually up for a bit of Jordan Yeah, Hugo. getting back. Ernel Hernandez. Yeah, keep him. So up for it. I don't I don't care. I'll argue with anyone about this all the day. The Hernandez reunion is going to be oh, sweet. Oh, God. And by the way, let me tell everyone right now, he fucking wants it. Mm. He wants it give, so much. Give me that tattoo. He wants another tattoo. Mm. I'm telling you now. Onel Hernandez wants back at Norwich. He told me a while back that Dino was going to give him a chance. He told me a while back that Dean Smith has a good relationship with Onel Hernandez. Um, and that he really, really wants to make it work. Um, there's some others in here. I mean, f- f- uh, Akin Femwo, any interest? Oh, wouldn't know who he's playing for at the moment. Fine. <laughs> Mate, you run a, you run a Norris City podcast. Do you know who he, who he plays yeah, for? Yeah, Charlton Athletic. Does he? Is right. it? I don't know. Let's look. <laughs> Sam McCallum. Yeah, keep him. Heard good things. And we and we do need as many defenders as we can get because we always seem to get to a point in the season where we're short on defenders yes agreed uh, and then Josip Dermic fuck is no. he still with us Josip Dermic where's he there's no tomorrow imagine oh he's the man that leads us back to the Premier League oh mate that imagine is, that is never going to happen him and Hugo up he top he literally doesn't even like football he doesn't like football. Yeah, but Ronnie O'Sullivan doesn't like snooker. Do you know what I world. said earlier about, oh, oh, he smashed it in the XYZ League. People are rimming Josip Dermic now because he scored three goals in Croatia, for fuck's sake. 
Yeah, I genuinely God didn't know he's sake. still on the books. Aston Oxborough. I think he's going to get a move. Yeah. So there we go. So we've got about four players left. Twitter questions. Yeah. We look like tomatoes. Can I just tell it's everyone? It's so warm. For the people that are watching this, we are sweating. So I hope you are appreciating this because it is boiling in this spare bedroom. Wow. I mean, TNC Studio. <laughs> <laughs> right, so many questions. 57. 57 questions? 57 questions, When we've been Chris. that bad. Go on, then. Jaden, positive. Positive. Well done, Jaden. I've only got to watch Billy Gilmore once more this season. Yeah, and he'll play 100%. He'll start. Statement from Follow Robot 2. Follow Robot 2. If Sorensen and Yunudis played more this season, we would have picked up more points. Agreed. This is going a bit smooth, isn't it? I don't know about Jakob Sorensen. Did we mention him on there? No. Oh, yeah. Good point. Where was he in the squad list? I don't think he was on the club website. Hello. Do you want to sack him off? <laughs> no. You don't think that. No, that is disgusting from you. Oh, how is it? That's your worst shout of the season. How is it? Jakob Sorensen, he is a quality championship player. He's your Tom Tribal you... type. He's, he's a safe pair of hands. Mm. Yeah, but do we want a safe pair of hands? In the championship, yes. Do we want an yes. exciting pair of hands? Well, I, I want hands that are going to do the job uh, okay. when I want them to do the yeah. job. <laughs> okay, fine. And Jakob Sorensen will do the Cultured job in the championship. Hands. Yes. Okay. All right, fine. You've you've converted me. Thank you. Um, so many like statements this week, and I want a few questions. Go on. Oh, go on, Sam. Question. Sam, who? I don't know. You can't pronounce it, or oh, he's from Martha. You Went can't pronounce. You can't pronounce it. Give it a go. Zeb Sam, thirty-six. Oh, okay. Um, what's Jack and Chris's dream transfer for the summer window, and why? Mine is Scott Twine. <laughs> Heard a lot about Scott know, Twine. Do you know what makes me laugh about this question? Is I don't know. I now don't have an answer. Do you know why? Because for about five seasons running, I said, um, what's his name? From Quagriarello. No, from old Nottingham Forest. Oh, Craig McHale Smith. No, no. Oh. Craig McHale Smith. He's <laughs> fucking Peterborough in League One. Um, from Forest. British on Belonga. Uh, okay. I said British on Belonga every season. Yeah. Do you know what? Here's my dream <laughs> signing of the summer. You ready? Yeah. Brandy Johnson. Ooh. Deadpan, deadly serious. Wow, you've gone there. Not drunk. Is he on a free? Yes, please. Oof. Bring him back. Oof. Bradley, yeah. Championship grit. Bit of bit of heritage in there. Mm. Passion for the club. Mm. Loves the club. Are you going to a bit too much down the passion line? I, well, you know me. I love it. I can't resist a bit of passion. Tell you I'd throw in there as well. Because why not? Where's why not bring Johnny Housen back as well? Interesting. Mm. Uh, Callum. Big Callum. No, I've turned my back on Johnny. Because I remember seeing Johnny when he... when he <laughs> I saw Johnny in the summer. At Blickling. Yeah, Blickling Hall for a walk. Long story. And I went up to Johnny, as you do. Oh, hi, Johnny. You're right. Oh, can I have a picture, Johnny? Blah, blah, blah. And, um, and, uh, and I was like, Johnny, you're going to stay. And I know he wasn't going to say no. But oh, he... Fuck off, Chris. No, but he... But he laid it on thick. He was like, oh, yeah, love the club. Can't wait for next season. Come on, Johnny. Mm. Literally the day after, Johnny House and moves to Middlesbrough. Anyway, go. Sorry. Big Cal. The Mean Machine. Oh, The Mean Machine. BC. With a little bit of a... Maybe a little bit of dose of reality for us. Okay, Big Cal. Bring us back down to earth. Go. Rowan Springett. Both need loan moves next season. We need more attacking championship experience if we want to aim for a top position. And Rowan Springett would benefit from playing time elsewhere. In an ideal world, Big Cal, yes. But we are a long, 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 long way from an ideal world. <laughs> That's so depressing. Just in general. What's or... the truth? <laughs> okay, fine. You want those players to go out on loan, 100%. I agree with you, Big Cal. Because you want those boys, those youngsters, to get games week in, week out. But realistically... With the players that we've got on our books, I think we're going to keep them both, hundred percent, is in for the season. Hmm. I'd like them to go on loan too because I want them to be playing week in week out. They deserve to be playing week in week out. The quality players, Kieran. Yeah. Statement. Yeah. Big Andy must start next season. Yeah. He's good. our most athletic centre back and has all the attributes needed to play in a Who, side who's... fighting for promotion. 
It also helps that he's one of our <clears throat> only assets left at the club. Yes. So him playing will only increase his value. Yes. God, look at Kieran. Look at the balance sheets. Kieran. Go on, Kieran. That's that is question of the week or statement of the week. Yeah, Kieran. Do you know what? Solid, solid bloke. Yeah. Kieran knows what he's talking about. Norwich That's City fan. Andy. Love my music. Timu Puki enthusiast. Love it. 100% agree. Yeah, I, I, Big Andy I, is going to be huge for us next season. Yeah, I just think Hanley and Gibson at times are irreplaceable in the championship. Big Andy is a better version of Ben Godfrey. Wow. 100%. He is. Is uh, he? For me, he is. Blimey. I've, I said that a while ago, and you also thought it was a blimey back then. Yeah, well, I you do. know what with Big Andy, I haven't, I haven't I think seen he's him for player. so long. I think he's got a wiser head on his shoulders. Mm, okay. No, I like Big Andy. I just don't know who you drop out of Hanley and Gibson in the championship. But that again, well, it's a nice option to have. Yeah, absolutely. Um, right. Come on, there's 57 yeah, right. questions. There's a lot to read through, Chris. <laughs> Tomsky. Whew. Tomsky. What Tomsky's name? coming with heat. <clears throat> Heat. Well, he's he's. Oh God! Should you add heat after this? Yeah, podcast? let's do it. Statement. Yes. Have to sell Ben Gibson. Worst she... centre back this season in the Premier League. With what I'd say, two good performances all season. Not better than Big Andy. Sell him. Get money and reinvest in strengthening the squad. Only issue with this, with this is I don't see anyone wanting him. But that's the thing, Tom Ski, is that. It's very easy, including us, to say these throwaway these throwaway comments. You know, throwaway. I wouldn't point now. I they're throwaway. Right now, but um, these throwaway comments of "oh, get rid," "he shit," blah blah blah. It's easy for us to say that. Someone's got to want them. Hmm. I disagree, Tomsky. I think Ben Gibson is a quality player for winning the championship title. We he's done it already. Do you remember how gutted we were that he, he was injured for the run-in? I think, I think he's a really good championship defender. I think he's very good in the air. I think he sometimes struggles with the ball at his feet in tight situations. But, and that gets punished in the Premier League. But in the Premier the League, what people need to realise is... and I know, Do you know what I've done in this podcast? I've blamed the next line-up. So do you know the goalkeeper position I was blaming yeah. the defence? Do you know what I'm now going to do? I'm going to blame the midfield. And then you're going to blame Pookie. You yeah, blame yeah. season. Yeah, I am. Because yeah. at the end of the day, you score more goals, you win more games. Um, <laughs> to be fair to all of the defenders, we've had zero. We've literally not had a midfield all season. No. We've played with no midfield all season. Yeah. Like, what player would you say has actually like really protected the defense consistently? Not a single player. I would disagree, Tomsky. One because I think Gibson is a good championship defender, and two, we we only really have three centre backs. The next season at the moment, Hanley Gibson mm. and Big Andy. Big Andy's <clears throat> not played for a while. Yeah, you you need about I'd say five centre backs going into the championship. I think it's relentless down there. I think I might sometimes contradict myself on this because I'm a fan and I get emotional, just like everyone that's that's commenting their statements, rants, raves, questions in this podcast. Um, I think the reason why people are jumping on Gibbo at the moment is that he made two mistakes against Liverpool. But again, it's against Liverpool, and I know, and I know there were mistakes, but it's not. I can understand. The thing is, I can really understand where people are coming from. But at the same time, I think if Hanley had made those mistakes, people would be giving Hanley just as much grief as Gibbo. Mm. So I think, and actually, again, as I've said, we are so far away from an ideal position that we need to take the positives that we can grasp mm. and at the moment Gibbo in the championship is going to be a solid performer here's a positive for you from Mr Dak history teacher year 11 form tutor wow particularly interested in all things humanities so quite articulate well you know you'd hope so probably intelligent teaching the future yeah go on then so what's he come out with statement HMS piss the league will return next season all aboard <laughs> in capital letters <laughs> Articulate, just like you said. Should we bring um, sh- the hats are there? Oh, they're there, waiting. They're there. D- just you- teasing us, is something- tickling us. They're going. Go on. Are you after him? Go on. No, are you no, after- no, not this episode. No, not this episode. But next season, I'm all aboard. I. Oh, mate, I'm so aboard. You're all aboard. Yeah, I am. See, I think that was the magic of that season. I'm quite happy to shut that lid forever, but you're saying open that lid up again. No. The, Let's have a go. The ship's been in port, and yeah. it's 
gagging to get back in the open well, sea. Well, it's, it's been sunk to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, it has. Mm. Mm. Oh, what about this? What about this? It's gone to Monaco. Okay. The ship has gone to Monaco. Yeah. Monaco have said, no, thank you. You can't hang around here with Roman Roman Abramovich's yacht, etc. Yeah. No interest. You've not got enough money. You can't handle the big time. Okay. So we've gone, oh, God, you know what? Let's go to the next best thing. Let's try and get into Great Yarmouth. <laughs> and they'll, they'll accept us in Great Yarmouth. But speaking of which, it's funny that I should bring that up, actually, because I've got a question for you, Jack Reeve. You're such a dick. I've got a question for you, Jack Reeve, actually, uh, which is that there's been <laughs> another... Well, I say, I'm, I'm not shocked. I'm I not, haven't seen this. I'm not, saying, I'm, not, I'm not pretending that this is even a shock because it's so far from a shock. There's been another Great Yarmouth scandal this week, yet again, yet again. Oh, um so, you have come out on this podcast before saying, oh, well, Norwich doesn't have a port. Blah, blah, blah. Well, of course it bloody doesn't, because first of all, it's inland. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like a given that you'd have a port. Like, any place on the coast is a bloody port. A thriving port, though. No, but you say a thriving port. What about this? Grey Yarmouth's mayor was left waiting as a cruise ship could not dock at Great Yarmouth. Right? And they're blaming the wind. Are they fucked? <laughs> the cruise ship guests are there and they're like, God, it absolutely stinks of shit around here. Get me back to France. <laughs> That's what they're saying. So there you go. To be fair, there's the Friday scandal. morning. There's the scandal of the week. It wasn't. I, I don't think it was wind. No, it wasn't. No, good. Admit and also, it. and also, it's a shambles. how big cruise ships are. Imagine to, to deal with the wind. How much does a cruise cost? Oh, a lot of money. I reckon, I mean, maybe I'm a bit out of touch here. I'm thinking maybe for a week-long cruise, you're looking at maybe, what, 700, 800? Am I out of the the question there? I mean, that's a guess because I don't go on cruise. I'm Mm. guessing. Imagine paying 700 quid and you rock up to (laughs) Yarmo. God, you'd be furious, wouldn't you? Have you got an account on the Great Yarmouth Mercury under the header Desperate Dan? No, I haven't. Because Desperate Dan has commented, (laughs) saying saying? they realised that there was a sign of desperation for the town and forced the captain (laughs) to keep on going. (laughs) No, to be fair, I have to admit, that's a howler. Wow, good. Hold my hands up, that's a howler. Yeah, you take that. Disgusting. Yeah, Uh, just like the bird shit scandal the week before. I think that's been sorted now. Well, no wonder you've got bloody laser beams <laughs> killing them, for God's sake. Uh, should we get a couple more questions? Because I'm literally Yeah, it's so, roasting. It's so hot in this I think room. I'm about to just keel over. Oh, God, it's honestly so warm. A nice question from Rory, actually. What's for dinner tonight? Also... Rory, what's for dinner tonight? Yeah, but listen to this, right? Okay, go on. Rory... Yeah? He's a junior squash player for Scotland. Hello. So he's an international... Who's Rory? Squash player. Oh wow, jeez! I tell you what, you gotta be really fit to play squash, haven't you? Yeah, like squash is like speaking of sweating. My God, tough on the joints as well. Yeah. Anyway, what's for dinner? R- Rory squash. What's for dinner? Do you know? Uh, what will I make for dinner tonight? I don't know. You know what? Yesterday, and this is a bit rogue, and you'll hate it. I picked up something that I haven't eaten for years. I saw it in the freezer aisle in Tesco. And I thought, you know what? I'll have a bit of that. Right. It was on offer. Is it a shocker? It's going to be a shocker, isn't it? Possibly. Yeah, a little bit of a shocker. Right. It's it's like something a 14-year-old would have for dinner. Oh, no. S- smiley faces. No, no, no. Oh, that's a good shout, though. Scampi. Oh, mate. Yeah, I just saw a bag of scampi and I thought, you know what? what? From the freezer aisle. I mean, yeah. scampi by the coast, fair enough. But scampi from the freezer aisle at Tesco. Oh, I'll throw that in the basket. It was on offer. I you thought, know what? Yeah. You stink of scampi. I don't mind scampi. I just haven't had it for years. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, that's there's a probably lie. a reason. You probably have it. Yeah, because it's average. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's so average. It is. No, it is. But I'm not anyway, having scampi so, tonight. Anyway, so I, I did buy have, a scampi. Why are you having dinner I've tonight? got. I've actually got some less leftover roast chicken that I'm going to. Oh, that's tuck pretty into. decent from you. Actually, that's pretty yeah. decent. Um, well, um, we. I try my best to take it in turns. Um, with, with Miss Reeve to, to, to cook dinner. It's her turn tonight. And oh, I think okay. I think that she's bottling it. I think she's going to go for a takeaway. Really? Yet to be confirmed. When I walk Well, that's out, not very equal, is it? When, well, I know. Where's the equality in this household? I, well, 100%. 
I mean, I'm going to... Look, put it this way. She's getting a solid yellow card for that. Oh, really? It's not good enough. Yeah. VAR decision for a possible red. <laughs> no, on a serious note, um, we do take it in turns. I'm all for equality. Good. But it's a takeaway tonight. I don't know what it'll be yet. What's your favourite house chore? Oh, Jack Reed, what the f- no, 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 just quickly. That hasn't got to be an explanation. I've just been talking about this with my friends. <sighs> Are you serious? Yeah, just your favourite house chore. I know you outsource a lot of it because you're posh. <laughs> but just give me I one. I can tell that we've been relegated. Are you, are you yeah, serious? Yeah, no, I'm deadly you, serious. You actually asked me what my favourite house I chore is. I was chatting about it in the pub with my friends the other night. It was a really good conversation. <laughs> I reckon yours is mowing the lawn. Ah, oh, see, that's an... Yeah, I love mowing the lawn. Does that count as a house chore? No, it's got to be in the house. In the house. Have a guess what mine is well, and I'll have a guess what yours is. Okay, I reckon yours is... Yours is going to be something really... E- oh, no. Don't... I reckon you like a bit of polishing. Oh, no. no. I reckon you like a little dust. I like. You- I reckon you like polishing something off. <laughs> Hoovering's mine. Yeah. Love hoovering. Because right. yeah. there's, there's an instant reward. You love a good suck, don't you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like hoovering. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, look, I know what yours at is. At the end of the day, that that doesn't surprise me that you like a good Hoover. Yours, yours is What's washing mine? up. No, I tell you what, mine is topping up the toilet rolls. Oh, that's hardly a chore. Yeah, though. exactly. Easy, over and done with. Topping up the toilet rolls. It all counts. There we go. Um, Can you tell we've been relegated? Yes. Um, right. So okay. Right. One final one. Yeah, go on. This is a good one, actually. Hurry up, because I'm so hot. Jack. Good question from Jack. Jack. Shock. Who? NCFC Jack. Love it. Yeah, good. Classic. <laughs> of course it is. Yeah. Uh, rant. rant. Dean Smith is unfairly criticised. The people who say he's not Ooh. got the same connection with fans and should be sacked are very stupid. Oh, jeez. Jack said that, not me. And uh, not me. <laughs> Jack NCFC. Dean hasn't got that connection because he hasn't have got two titles behind him. He'll promote us next season and they'll all change their minds. Yeah. I like that from Jack. I... I want that to come true, a hundred percent, Jack. I think I think that's a really good shout. Um, I think my observations are the people that are staunch Dean out are the people that saw that Daniel Farker could do absolutely mm. no wrong whatsoever. At the end of the day, facts don't care about feelings. We've ended up this season with more points than we did under Daniel Farker. So you can't argue. Dean Smith this season has a better points per game average than Daniel Farker and it's Daniel Farker's squad. That but says all you need to know. I don't buy it. Like so just because Daniel Farker did a did a wave at everyone at the end, like he he was like the best thing since sliced bread. His Premier League record was was atrocious. Mm. It'll be interesting to see how we get on next season. Look, and he, equally, I'm not saying that Dean Smith should not be criticised at all because he I has agree made with some that. decisions. The team selections from Dino, even though he's got a crock of shit, have been questionable. And I also, will agree with that. Some of the things he said in press conferences, I'm like, are you okay? Well, I think Dino's probably quite ill advised. Well, he's got a press officer why is, next to him. But why is it? But why? Just don't talk about the fans. Yeah. Just please stop talking yeah. about the fans. Mm. Just stop. Why? I cannot believe. Literally, every week this season, there's been something that has been unnecessary that's been put out there that's pissed off the fans mm. that didn't need to be said or done. Mm. But Just by the like way, us, we constantly think, say things we don't need to say that piss people off. I think Dean Smith will do the job next season. Yeah, me too. Um, I think Dino has got a lot of experience, a lot of wisdom about him. And I do think the squad he's got, both in terms of quality, but also mentally is way off. Mm. And I think Dean Smith and Craig Shakespeare will turn the ship around. Roll on the first game of the season getting pumped 3-0 by Blackpool. Fucking hell. I bloody hope not. I really don't. Tottenham on Sunday, I'm not going. Uh, why? Seriously? Yeah, I'm not going. Can't be asked. No, I've got a, I've got quite a big golf match actually. Why would I want to go to watch Norwich? Really? I can't believe you've just said that. Mate, you've missed games to go to like. <laughs> you've literally Mate, missed every week. Anniversary. It's my anniversary. I don't care. Would you take your missus up the Shangri La if you had the chance? <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you, as always. Yeah, you too, mate. Um, here's my passing message to the Norwich fans. Hmm, go on. First of all, let's try to remember the good times because with the downs always come the ups. 
and it's good to feel the downs to appreciate the ups. Mm, good. I could probably say that every other season. In fact, I probably have, but it's worked so far. Um, and yeah, uh, basically, there's some really good podcasts coming up, mm. isn't there? Mm. Um, there's some really good podcasts coming up. There's a couple of big guests that I'm sure will be confirmed soon. They're not 100%, but they're close. So I will continue to work hard to make sure that we get guests on to talk about um, their side of the story. And we're, we're going to be doing more podcasts mm. over the summer, though, aren't we? So no, so no worries at all. Do you reckon all. we should go to Scotland to watch this in pre-season? Do you know what? I'm well up for Celtic. Are you? I'm well up for yeah, Celtic. Me too. I'm well I'd up go. for it. I've been Celtic pre-season before, actually. Do you remember the um, hashtag Celtic Norwich family? Do you remember uh, that? That yeah, was when yeah. the jury testimonials I'd go with you if you want. Want to go? Holty scored in a 1-0, didn't he? Holty scored the winner. Are you, are you being serious? Yeah, yeah. I'd well, go. I've, got to, I've got family up in Scotland. Well, let's go then. In Glasgow as well. Yeah, let's go. All right. Well, see you there then. Thanks for watching, listening. Um, <laughs> I'm try and stay positive i know that we've ranted but like we, we, we're just venting it but we actually do really care and we want this to turn around it's just extremely frustrating and the club it's now over to the club the club now needs to give the fans something because they've not and so it's not a surprise that we're all thinking and feeling this way the club now needs to pull their finger out we need signings we need belief injected back into us we need no stupid articles just do your job, do it well, 100% and give of the time. us belief. That's all I want. Good. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.